my name's uh, Calvin Williams. I'm the uh, manager of project manager of uh, Project Enduro. So our purpose is to design four-wheel downhill bikes, gravity bikes. Um, initially, primarily for disabled users, uh, both paraplegics and amputees. But as we've developed the bikes and spoken to different people and had a, a number of different riders involved in the project, we found that able-bodied riders are having just as much fun uh, on them as well. At EMS um, up in Llamberis, um through the Prune Bicycle Company, the, psych, uh, the boys up there introduced us and then uh, he agreed to come down with us today to do some testing uh, in Bike Park Wales. My name's Emir Davis, uh, I'm from North Wales and uh, I'm a professional mountain biker. Ems has got a um, spectacular skill set. Just watching him on a bike is something I'd probably pay to do. So uh, just thought I'd go for a warm-up burn on the familiar two wheels before I uh, embark on the four. I wasn't expecting that to happen. <laughs> For me as a professional racer, I guess it was a bit of a concern to not injure myself because I got the last national coming up next weekend and it'd be devastating to get nailed before that. So yeah, I was apprehensive to There's ride it. And I was kind there. of scared to, that I'd fall off and right. you know um, be stuck on the on the bike and kind of hit a tree or whatever. But as soon as I got on the thing, um, my opinion's changed totally. That's fine. Yeah. No issues at all. Good work. Got that bit done anyway. That was the easy bit. Let's crack on now. It's really intuitive and easy to ride and you just start getting confident and confident and by the second run I was just absolutely flying and learning to take off jumps and stuff like that. They can handle rough stuff real easy. Like I didn't expect it to be as fun as it was, I was. I think I was so scared of of the unknown almost because it's so different to ride that um, I didn't expect it to be as fun. Like I came out of it with such a smile on my face. And it was just yeah, really, really good time. Well, getting M's his input has been uh, really, really valuable. Um, as, you, as you know, he's raced all over the world. Um, he's uh, rubbed shoulders regularly with some of the best riders in the world. And some of the feedback he can give um, on technical issues um, and also just on the feel of the bike um, is something that we uh, really value. And his feedback on the bike um, and tuning is really good. But just like, like I've already said, really, just seeing him having fun, but also going from being quite nervous initially um, and but very, very quickly coming up to a, a skill set which surpasses the average rider who's maybe been riding it for, for, for many months. If you want to go fast, you can go fast and get blurry and get wild and stuff. <laughs> which we did today. <laughs> The next stage for Project Enduro is developing from the project to a point where we can actually sell it commercially. We've got uh, a number of people interested in, in the project commercially um, and really the next stage is going to manufacture and once we've got uh, the product out there 
is to use venues such as this, uh, such as Bike Park Wales, such as Cumcarn, and Justinio, and other um, venues across the UK, uh, like the Forest of Dean also, um, and maybe even Fort William where we've used the bikes in the past, um, and actually develop a race series so people um, can push the limits and we can help develop the technology to make the bikes better and better. <laughs> Good work mate. I was sick up. Huh? First run, that was awesome, fella. Oh, it was awesome. so good. Like, way beyond my expectations. Like, I thought it'd be fun, you know, and good, but I never thought it'd be that much fun. I've got to say, mate, you showed the skills there. No, it was good. Bottom line as well, we've found that the bike um, responds well to weight. <laughs> He's eating again. <laughs> Ha 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 